Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. I'm here to talk about a relatively recent addition to our mini game collection here. This is February 16th, 2019, and this week uh, I noticed that I've got a little one here, and by chance I happened to find a mini game lurking down here, and it is Candy Quests. Can you crush these candy quests? There's Booster Explorer or Real Life Saver available to me. Now, let me talk about this a little bit. First of all, this is uh, a game that I'm supposed to have eight hours to complete. And then at the end of the time that I complete it, whether it's in one minute or eight hours, that starts a cooldown clock. And I'm not allowed to enter this again until the next 12 hours. What I've noticed is that playing on a private browser like I normally do, the Mozilla uh, browser, it allows me to access this just about every time I refresh. So uh, if I refresh and then I play about a level or two, the exclamation or the little one pops up and I'm able to go back in here and play. Now I will tell you that of the, the games that I've played so far, there's only one that I've really liked. This one, I can't figure out how to get to work. I send lives all the time and I've never seen this register as me sending any lives. So I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to do this, but it doesn't seem to be working for me, or I don't know how to operate it. And then I've got this Booster Explorer. Now this is, to me, kind of a scam. Oh, one thing I want to say, even though I have access to the games, I haven't yet been able to check to see if I get the rewards each time. So it could be that it knows when it dispenses the rewards and it won't give me rewards except every 12 hours. So I don't know if this might actually be detrimental that I can go back in here over and over. So here's Booster Explorer. Help Captain Sweet Tooth pillage candies by using boosters. So in order to get boosters, I have to use boosters. And if I click on it, it disappears, but then I go back down here. Here it is. It started the eight hour usage clock. And what I didn't realize the first time I saw this is I'm like, well, what, what kind of boosters? These are so faintly here. I didn't even pay attention, but he wants me to use a or she, hard to tell who Captain Sweet Tooth is, um, some fish or a, or, sorry, and a switch hand. This is what I take it to mean. I didn't try to use either or. I used both, and that got me the reward. So let's see. Let's see if it's worth the investment. First of all, we have to find a level that I think is relatively easy to beat. So in these circumstances, because I am doing this for your sake, and not because I'm trying to beat a level, I'm actually going to go for something that I know is extraordinarily easy to beat. That way there's no question as to whether or not I've completed the level and that's what's required. Although I do believe that even if you don't complete the level, as long as you use the boosters, that will give you the reward. See, it appears to me that maybe I did this before the 12 hours was up previously and I didn't beat the level and it didn't give me the reward and so I'm just trying to check to see why I'm not getting the reward. So let's see, going to 606, so easy. 1476 is easy too and 1168 should be easy although there's been a reshuffling of some of the levels but uh, those take a little bit longer. 606, even though it requires a bit of scrolling, it is something that I can guaranteed win with just three turns. So the investment in scrolling pays off because I'm just not on the board very long. So this is really great. This is the one I use if I need to fill up a golden spaceship or lovely letters or anything like that. So here's 606, and I'm going to bring in fish. Now let's do this. Let's figure out if we're getting anything. I'm starting with 398 of the color bombs, 907 of the striped raft, and 368 of the jellyfish. So 8, 7, and 6. I'm sorry, 8, 7, and 8 is what these end in. Although I'm going to be using up one of these, right? And then I come here 20 moves to clear this out. I've got 
327, 14, 246, 11, and 15. Probably I won't have to worry about these. I probably won't be getting those anyway. But uh, 327 and 246. Now remember, I'm going to have to use one of these up, right? So I've got my fish on the board just to make sure that I'm not only using these appropriately by bringing them in, but I'm also actually using them once they get here. I'm going to go ahead and set those guys off. Now I'm going to basically burn one of these, waste one, and see if it's worth it at the end. So I'm going to take this and move it over here. There we go. All right, so let's see what we have now. And remember that not every level requires using jellyfish or allows you to use jellyfish. So you may have to hunt for one of those. Okay, so this has the one here. It's telling me that there's something interesting happening here. I look, candy quest complete. Nice work, collect your rewards and try another quest. So I think what it's telling me that in exchange for jellyfish and a switch hand, I should have an extra one of each of these. So I'm going to claim prize. Now it says come back soon. Next candy quest available in 12 hours. I come over here. I look at 606. I've got now 399. 908 and 367 because I had to spend one of those. Yeah, I think I know how to do that. And then I've got fewer here now, 326, but I've got 247 here. So I think it's a bit of a scam because I really like my switch hands, although I really like lolly hammers too, but I just don't feel like exchanging them all the time. All right, so that's how I exploit this level, hopefully. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more investigative work, so hold on and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I reloaded my screen on my private browser. I did that by right-clicking on my open tab. You can see it pulls in a drop-down menu. My first choice is reload tab. I clicked that. I'm not going to do it now. And uh, I got my five free lives and my extra striped draft combo. That's why I have so many striped draft combos. It happens every time I reload. And then I uh, played the level again, and now I've got this one here flashing, so I check to see, look at this. I've got candy quests available again. And so now I've got another opportunity. Here's top of the charts. This is really hard for me because I happen to have not only a whole bunch of Candy Crush friends, but these are folks I've never met from all over the world, and some of them are extremely good players, and then some of them have used cheats in the past. I have a friend who is 999,999,999 points on level one. And with only six moves available in level one, that's impossible unless you're using cheats that give you unlimited boosters, and you just hit it with color bombs and spent that time. So I don't pay attention to uh, the fact that I'm not first in the leaderboard. I expect people to get better than I am on those things and therefore this one would be really really hard for me to accomplish. So I'm going to go with Candy Collector. Olivia needs help collecting 200 candies for her holiday gifts. I click this. I have to see what candies does she want. She wants green. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. I'll be back in just a moment. So here we are at level 1476, one of my favorite places for collecting a large number of items. Everything basically except reds or yellows. Uh, but any particular color or any special that needs to have a lot created, I like to come here, especially green. I already have to collect, I think, 100 green anyway. It's not tough to make 200. So, and it's really good for collecting sugar drops. So here I go. What is in store for me now? Besides the fact that I collected those for whatever I'm supposed to be collecting those for, and I got my sugar drops. Yay, sugar drops. 
See, this is a way to get boosters. This is still my favorite way to get boosters, is Sugar Drop Collection. I can get gold bars. I rarely get gold bars from other places. I have to remember that I co collected a coconut wheel in, le in case um, that shows up as something that I earned. So let's see what this says. So here it says I should get the same thing, striped wrapped color bomb and a lolly hammer. I'm going to click to claim my prize. It says I have 12 hours before I can come back. That may be a lot of work for those three, but if you really need hammers, I think it's a good way to go. So let's see if I actually got something here. Well, look at that. I started with 399. Now I have 400. I started with 909. Now I have 910. And I don't know what I started with there. I started with, oh, 269 is what I have written down. So it didn't give me that, which is not surprising. Let's see if I've got more of these. I started with 247. I now have 248. See all those greens that get collected immediately? So indeed, not having waited 12 hours, I'm able to capitalize on that again. So hopefully this information is helpful to you. Hopefully you have similar or the same or even better um, results because every person seems to have a completely different uh, experience on King Games. Now, I will tell you that, again, this is on the Mozilla browser and uh, Firefox. It might be Foxfire because I used to use a program called whatever the reverse is, but I think it's Firefox. And so... Um, what I'm recommending is that you try things out with whatever device and browser you are using. I'm sorry that I don't have a lot of knowledge about what happens on Androids or iPhones, all of those app-based things. And that's because I'm the last adult American to never have owned a cell phone in my entire life. So I can't really test things out. I can't experiment. But you can see that this is a process of experimentation. And so look at all of the things you have available and see if you can exploit some extra extra good stuff. If you really need lolly hammers, this might be a great way to stock up on a few. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. If you find my videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would help me out. And as always, thanks for watching.